everybody, it's Nick. Welcome to your October mid-monthly reading for 2024. We're going to be covering the second half of October and we're going to look into each and every zodiac sign like I always do in your mid-monthlies. And I don't know if you guys can notice, well you probably can obviously, I've added two pumpkins here. I think I told the earth signs yesterday is when I did it but I forget for which sign I told them that um, I had originally ordered two like fluffy or I was thinking of ordering these like fluffy pumpkin pillows, throw on pillows as like decoration but something about this shipping it was going to take too long, be delayed, I was like eh, I'll just cancel it and um, we were at the store already so I was like you know what I'm going to get two real pumpkins just to get festive and therefore when the season's over just throw it back into nature and there you go. And I today, for fun, I drew with a gold marker a little happy face on this pumpkin. I don't know if you could see, you might not be able to see that far, but I drew a little happy face. I thought it was kind of funny, kind of cute. Um, and not gonna lie guys, this is my third full day of like filming, so I'm a little burnt out on readings, but I made a promise to myself and I want to keep pushing forward and make sure I finish and get back on my rhythm and my groove with my channel and all my readings, especially since last year was like such a tough year and a big transitional phase with Skylar being born and getting back into the groove and feeling like sleep deprived and all that stuff. So we were, you know, just on survival mode. And this time moving forward, I think since he's already 16 months this month, uh, where I'm able to kind of get back my energy and my groove a little bit better. And for sure next year as a family, I really want to make sure that I give my all and I'm able to do, you know, and film and uh, give you as much as um, I'm wanting to do, um, unless I physically, unless I absolutely can't or don't have help with Skylar. So, cause I know I had to take a little bit of a break, some breaks last year, but hopefully you guys, and most of you really understand and you know, it's just a big lifestyle change and a lot, but things should be hopefully improving and getting better moving forward. Cause this is my true passion and I love doing this. And I really wanted to bring him out here to show you because I think last year in the video I had him and I think my husband as well in the uh, monthly I may have him been wearing this as well but I think it's his nap time so he's probably taking a nap and also now he's like very clingy and gets really excited so if we bring him in and then we gotta leave him out and close the door he'll like you know kind of have a little tantrum start crying so don't want to do that. I did get him a cute little like sweatshirt with a pumpkin on it since I kind of did the same thing last year and I'll probably, you know, film him or take a few photos or something and put it as a short for you guys because it's just so cute. And last night I did put in an H&M order since I, they were giving me 20% off for Skylar. They have a bunch of cute like clothes for like kids and babies and toddlers so I couldn't resist. And my husband saw, he's like, oh, I saw, I saw on the credit card last night, you made a H&M order. I was like, yes, I couldn't resist, but I showed, I showed him all the outfits and they're really, really cute. All right. Anyways, that's my little, uh, distraction spiel for uh, the intro, but let's get into your reading guys. I want to have fun with this, right? Cause it's like, it's like my free, not, I don't want to say my free time, but the time I have to like really focus and get all my work done but I want to make it fun and not feel like it's work or tired and exhausting even this is like even though it's like the third full day I want to have fun with it and feel like free and creative I think that's like uh the best way I can tune into the energies and give you guys the best reading possible so for this month, um, we're covering the second half of October, but there's not that much to cover in, as far as the week uh, astrological energies. So, and I'm, I always break that down in the weekly readings. So I think I'm just gonna save that and save time and just uh, I'll talk about that in your weekly astrological energies video in a little more detail, especially since I just posted all the weeklies. So you guys are probably like heard enough anyways. Um, and we'll go into each and every zodiac sign, starting with Libra, since we're still we're still in Libra season. But next week, or depending when you watch this on the 22nd, we are going to transition into Scorpio spooky season. And um, we're going to look into your positive affirmations, message from the universe, your animal spirit message, and then your sign, symbol, or synchronicity. 
for this next little while. Uh, your crystal and then your main energy general message overview, what's going on in this second half of October. Your uh, love message, what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you. And then your warrior guidance advice at the end. And uh, what else? Oh, keep in mind, these are general, so it may not always resonate to the T with every single person. And that's totally okay. And that's totally normal. Just take what fits and leave the rest out. Just listen with an open mind and open heart. You don't always have to take everything so literal. Maybe it's just meant to help you think about things differently or give you a different perspective. And as I always say, you can listen for your sun or your moon or your rising or Venus, or maybe all in combination might make better sense to you or give you just kind of like a broader perspective, or maybe you're going to cross watch and you know listen for someone else but go with whatever resonates with you and as always I appreciate all your love and support guys I know YouTube doesn't really like show or um, you know uh, what's it called yeah it doesn't really show my videos to new people um, and stuff like that but I appreciate all you guys that are consistent supporters and watchers and viewers it means a lot to me and um, if any of you guys want to show further support, you can always join and become a member as well. I think you will only see the join button on your desktop or on a computer, but I have it linked below in my description box as well. And um, if you want to check out my poetry book, that is available on Amazon and everything's always linked below if you're interested. But just you being here watching and supporting means a lot to me. So thank you so much. Don't ever think that I take it for granted or don't appreciate it because I really, really do. Let's get right into your guys' reading and let's start with Libras. All right. Hi, my dear Libras. How are you? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Happy birthday. Hope you guys have had a great birthday season so far. Let me know in the comments. Did you do anything special? Did you treat yourself? How are you feeling? Do you feel like a new person or do you feel the same? Let me know. It was my brother's birthday, so hopefully he's feeling good. All right, so what is your first affirmation? You guys got, I am blessed. I am blessed, even though you'll never be less, as my favorite esoteric teacher and astrologer Dolo always says, I'm blessed, but I'll never be less. So resonate and practice saying this. Your second affirmation is I can handle anything that comes my way. I can handle anything that comes my way. And I know maybe some of you are like, but I don't want to handle anything. I don't want to handle everything. I don't want, you know, everything to be thrown my way. Like, and I know I get it, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And sometimes you don't know what you don't know. You don't realize how strong you are until you have no choice but to be strong. And a lot of things that do happen and come in your life, even those like really tough situations, they're really refining you. They're sharpening your blade. They're shaping your character and molding you and showing you your potential showing you who you are what you're made of and sometimes you don't know until you're put in those tough situations like oh you know what that wasn't that bad or man actually i'm really good at this or oh okay that wasn't that scary i just had to get pushed into doing that and i didn't want to do it but i'm glad i went through that because it showed me my capabilities what i'm able to do and maybe where i was limiting myself so i can handle anything that comes my way your message from the universe is card number two and it says start anew start anew spread your wings like this yellow beautiful butterfly so maybe some of you um, in these next few weeks or right now you're going through a new stage a new chapter a new journey you're feeling like a new person or you're going to be starting something new some kind of new beginning or maybe this is your uh, motivation your uh, words of encouragement to go start that thing that you've been wanting to do or don't be afraid step into this new phase new beginning in your life spread your wings you can fly all right, or there's new things that are gonna be happening and coming for you soon. All right, and as your animal spirit message, you guys got the condor and it says, you're too enmeshed in this situation. So step back and see the bigger picture before making, making any decisions or taking action. Here you go. So the condor wants you to know that you may be too enmeshed in a certain situation. So take a few steps back, see the bigger, broader picture perspective before you make any decisions or take action. So um, if something maybe is a little chaotic or you're kind of too involved in something, maybe take a few steps back, 
look at things from like an outsider perspective or look at you know at the broader picture before you make any like big you know major life decision or you take some kind of action okay all right and then as your sign symbol or synchronicity for the second half of october you guys got card number nine the bouquet the bouquet and it is also the cue of spades as you see at the top you could you got uh, you could take a screenshot if you like so you remember. So uh, card number nine, the bouquet and the cue of spades. And the spades is symbolic of air, the swords, and 180 degree angle, which is uh, opposition. So um, I feel like here the bouquet, your sign some more synchronicity could be that there is uh, an apology maybe that is coming from a person maybe uh, that you had some issues with or something is being brought together that maybe you have to make amends with or forgive or maybe there's someone who's going to try to make an effort through flowers through something they're giving you that they've put together to say hey you know i'm sorry can we move past this can we be in peace but maybe whoever is giving it to you whoever it's coming from or what this represents is someone who you like you know like you not getting along with or you guys had a argument or fallout in some way shape or form so a bouquet of flowers may be symbolic for some of you and uh there's gonna be it's coming from maybe someone who you had an opposition with or you had some tension um maybe involved with this person whoever this bouquet is associated with or just what the bouquet represents for you okay um as your crystal, you guys got the green aventurine. Green aventurine, and it's associated with your heart chakra. It aids in creativity, motivation, leadership, and decisions, can help with pre-exam and exam stress, helps with relaxation and calm slash soothes emotions, and can be good for the muscles, lungs, and your heart. An affirmation associated with the green aventurine is any emotional wounds are healed. Any emotional wounds are healed. Yes, we like that. Speak that into existence. So green aventurine could be a great crystal for you guys to look into or just, uh, you know, read about. Um, okay, so what's your general or main message, uh, er, main energy going on for you in the second half of October? Okay, so Libra's I feel like here, uh, some of you could have some water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe even Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or dealing maybe with one of those signs or just the energy. But it looks like in this next half of October, as we transition out of your season, your birthday season, and go into Scorpio season, that your it's the little things that are gonna matter. It's the little things that are gonna count the most that are gonna bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment that you're gonna feel content with or satisfied. Or maybe you're in this like changing phase in your life where you're starting to see it's those little things that you've been doing that add up over time and actually bring you happiness, actually make you feel proud of yourself. Or it's these little things that you've been participating in or taking action in or looking at and assessing that make you feel more whole, make you feel more um, at ease and comfortable and at peace emotionally or bring you peace. And I do also see here again, there could be an, uh, an apology. Maybe there's someone who's apologizing to you and doing it through their actions or giving you something. And it could be like a small act, something small, or hey, you wanna go to dinner or you wanna come over and I'll cook for us or something. But there could be an apology here or maybe you could be given an apology. But I feel like it's like the little things that are gonna matter. It's the little things that are gonna be adding up and make the most impact emotionally. So um, there could be things that you're doing for yourself as well that maybe, you know, in the moment, it didn't seem like it was going to matter that much. But looking back, you'll start to see that all those little things you were doing, maybe on a daily basis or consistently over time, have brought you, um, have helped you maybe heal emotionally, have helped you become emotionally stronger, um, more connected to yourself, to who you are, and helped you feel maybe just more at peace and at ease. It's not those like big, crazy, fancy things that bring us happiness. It's really those little things that like, you know, making your cup of tea or coffee, um, you know, having that great conversation with a friend or someone that you love. Um, it's these little things that you could do for yourself, but also for others that are gonna bring you happiness, make you feel whole, make you feel, uh, 
loved or make you feel connected to yourself but also others so you're coming into a time when you're noticing and putting more importance in the little things the little actions that will actually make you happy not just externally make you seems like it brings you happiness but doesn't actually bring you joy it's like you know when you do something nice for someone yeah and it's maybe not for you but you doing that act actually makes you feel really good inside even though it was just like something small maybe it's not a big deal to you but it was a big deal for that person if that makes sense all right now when it comes to your love message you guys got soulmate yes this is your soulmate Ooh, all right so some of you if you're with someone talking to someone maybe this person is your soulmate and you're like i knew it i know i just know they're my soulmate or if you're single maybe your soulmate is right around the corner and you're gonna meet this person very soon and you'll just know you'll just feel it if you don't feel it and you're not you're kind of hesitant maybe they're not it but they're close and they're around you if you're open and available and keep your eyes and ears peeled so your soulmate is in your life or is here or they may be very close to you and you might not even know it and your uh, love message as far as what someone is thinking or feeling or maybe wants to tell you is i'm feeling hopeful i'm feeling hopeful nice okay so whoever this person is they have a lot of hope um they may be very positive and optimistic that things are going to work out with you or that they're going to meet you or that you're the one for them they just may be in that kind of energy like of hope belief we got this inspiration um, and they're feeling really good about maybe you or where you're at or where this is heading so very positive i like it lastly as your warrior guidance advice it's about sleep rest is very much needed for your body and soul if you're struggling to fall asleep try to focus only on your inhale and exhale relaxing your body more with each exhale and today actually my husband let me sleep in a little bit and i'm so grateful for it because i was very very tired since i've been up late trying to like finish my uh my work and all that stuff so thank you sam <laughs> love you so sleep is really important my libras make sure you are sleeping um i know this upcoming week we're gonna have that aries full moon so it may be kind of a little harder to fall asleep for a lot of us but make sure you're prioritizing rest and not working yourself to the core or staying up late you know browsing the internet and doing stuff that you know is maybe not that good for you try to rest sleep okay all right so you can perform and be at your best uh, the next day and the next weeks ahead. All right, so Libras, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Hopefully I see you for your next reading and your weeklies, monthlies, and monthlies, so on and so on. And I wish you guys all the best. Take care and happy birthday to all of you guys. Hope you enjoyed your season. All right, now let's move on to my Scorpios. All right, hi Scorpios. How are you guys? I hope you're doing amazing and happy birthday. We're gonna slowly transition, ease into your birthday season, spooky season. So next time I post the weeklies or on, uh, your next set of readings, you guys are gonna be posted first, all the water signs. So yay. Let me know in the comments if you're an October baby or if your birthday is coming up very soon and happy birthday. All right, so your first affirmation is I'm abundant. I'm abundant. Yes, I speak, I speak, breathe, and have abundance in and all around me. So I never lack. And I don't have a lack mentality. I have that winner mindset. I attract everything that I want because it's already inside of me. I'm abundant. Love it. Your second affirmation is I'm strong and powerful. I'm strong and powerful. I, I always say this to Skylar. It's like, Skylar's strong. Skylar's smart. Skylar is happy <laughs> i always say that to him especially when we go on our walks so practice saying that i'm strong and powerful your message from the universe is coming from card number 55 so 55 or also the number 10 maybe one could be significant for you or mean something to you and it says thank god thank god or whatever you believe in or whatever God means to you, all possibilities, um, as my favorite esoteric teacher and astrologer always says, dolo, all possibilities. So thank God. In this next little while, be thankful for the things that you have, even the things that maybe went wrong or didn't go in your favor. Be thankful for where you're at today and for all the things that happened and didn't happen because you are here and, um, there's a per you you have a purpose and there's a reason why you are here so and any if you are experiencing good things 
always be grateful for it because the moment we stop appreciating or we take things for granted, that's when it gets taken away from us. So uh, be grateful, give thanks, even for the simple, basic things in life, because there are some people out there who don't even have that or wish they could have that, such as health or a roof over their head um, or their home, you know, and uh, love, family, anything. All right, now as your animal spirit message, you guys got the platypus, which was like my favorite animal when I was really young because I thought it was like cool and unique. So the platypus wants you to know to stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. Okay, all right, universe. They may be calling you out a little bit, um, but don't shoot the messenger. So be grateful, give thanks, and don't focus too much on the things that you lack or the things that are bugging you or annoying you or I hate this, I hate that. Let's shift that complain energy into gratitude and focus on um, all the great things that you do have. And so you're resonating more with that positive energy rather than like, uh, uh, this, this sucks, you know, which I know is can be hard at times, but with enough practice and self-awareness, you can get there. All right, and now as your uh, sign, symbol, or synchronicity in this next little while, it's coming from card number three, and it's the ship. And this is also the 10 of spades. 10 of spades, there you go. You can kind of take a screenshot if you wanna look at it, see what you feel from it. Um, 10 of spades, and spades is symbolic of the air, sword, 180 degree angle and opposition. So I feel like here with the ship, it's uh, it's your signs and more synchronicity that there may be some emotions that are maybe negative or heavy emotions that you're trying to get away from that you feel really opposite from and you're like, oh, I need to get away from this. I need to go up to the surface on my boat and kind of ride this wave, ride this feeling and get it out of my system, let the full moon wash it away and bring it to light, bring to light what's really bugging me, what's maybe hurting me or weighing me down so I can maybe tread light and have lift, lift this heaviness off of me and um, go on this voyage or uh, sh uh, what's the word? swim away or swim to uh, another more positive emotion. So when you see a ship or a boat or anything like that, maybe it's gonna be really symbolic or your sign, your symbol synchronicity that you need to sail away from some kind of heavy emotion and uh, get away from that opposing feeling so you can feel lighter and more at peace. All right, and then as your crystal, you guys got Bumblebee Jasper and it's associated with your sacral and solar plexus chakra and it increases physical vitality and helps fight off infections, promotes the acceptance of change, new opportunities and transformation, and helps to increase self-esteem and decision-making and can enhance creativity, confidence, and honesty. And an affirmation associated with Bumblebee Jasper is I easily accept and work with the changes on my journey. I easily accept and work with the changes on my journey. So Bumblebee Jasper could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in this next little while. All right, my dear Scorpio. So what is going on with you guys, generally speaking, or your main energy um, message for the second half of October? All right, so Scorpios, I feel like here some of you uh, could be dealing with a lot of air or thinking, analyzing, communicating, but with like some frustrating things that are on your mind. Uh, maybe some of you have or dealing with a Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, or an air sign, Aquarius, Super Gemini, or you may have that somewhere in your chart, just the energy overall. But I feel like here that you have a lot of power and power in your hands and control. I think I felt that for some of your weekly readings or in the past weekly readings, if you recall, and you're trying to manifest or you have the ability to manifest and create the life, create the reality that you want by using the tools and resources around you. But right now, what's going to really help you, what's going to, you're going to feel like you have to do is that you have to have hard conversations with yourself. First, first and foremost, maybe with others, but really more with yourself right now, you've got to have some hard, honest, truthful conversations with yourself and don't lie to yourself. Be honest and face your fears, 
doubts, insecurities, uh, anything that's messing with your head or causing any frustrations, you gotta be honest with yourself and deal, face those demons head on. Um, and realize that you can actually use those things to um, to manifest and to see where like maybe those things that you fear or that you're scared of or that are frustrating you, you can actually modify it and transmute it into something beautiful, into something that can motivate you, into something that can inspire you. Like um, I've given this example in the past, like if you dealt with heartbreak or maybe someone lied to you or cheated on you or did something, you know, really shady, um, but let's say you're an artist or you're a musician or you're a creative person, you can use that pain, use that heartache, put it into your art, put it into your dance, put it into your music, um, into that book, you know, and transmute that emotion, that pain, that human natural feeling that we get into something beautiful that could be relatable or that other people can feel and learn from. So you can change that and twist it around and transmute it and actually gain some kind of, uh, uh, you know benefit from it in the long run you know just like I always say like Adele you know her painful songs but now she's like you know probably really grateful for her exes or whoever caused her pain because now she you know is living large and gained a lot of fame and success from it but that's just like a general you know example but I feel like here you have the key you have the magic you have the power to create the life that you want and to manifest but you're gonna have to have hard conversations with yourself, face your fears, your doubts, your demons, and use those things. Don't run away from them. Don't use it, don't let that hurtful situation or person, place or thing make you bitter, make you negative, make you hate everybody, hate the world. No, use that to make you better, okay? Let that inspire you and let that show you that you can create something even greater for yourself. Instead of like feeling like you need to, you know, plot out revenge and get that person back. No, let your revenge be you making yourself better. Let that, let your revenge be you getting your happiness again and not letting them hold you back and living your best life. That is the best revenge you could ever have on anyone who hurt you or whether it's intentional or not intentional, you being happy again, living your best life, succeeding, um, smiling and glowing and realizing that you know they're just someone on your journey to help you see your power and nothing can hold you back except you okay so any person place or thing or any feeling or emotion you could be that's messing with your head or maybe made you feel insecure or made you feel less than don't let that stop you you can use that to empower yourself again and really create and manifest something that's beautiful for you a life that you want because whatever you dealt with or whatever you experienced in the past doesn't have to carry forward. It doesn't have to be your reality or your circumstance any anymore moving forward. Whoever you were, forget, forget that, forgive yourself, forgive them, move on and know you can start fresh, you can start new, okay? Don't let your past drag you back or drag you down because you don't have to be that same person anymore, okay? All right, now as your love message, you guys got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust, the situation's calling for you to have faith. So especially maybe in your love life or, you know, people, places, things you're dealing with, personal life or your personal relationships, you gotta trust. You gotta trust that these things and everything that has happened or is happening is for a reason. Or maybe you there's a new person in your life, but you're kind of fighting it, you know they're good for you, but maybe you have trust issues and you're kind of, you know, pushing them away or maybe self-sabotaging, maybe it's time for you to trust this person, especially if they haven't given you any reasons to not trust them. You don't want to like make a past person, you know, make this person pay for what someone in the past did and they have nothing to do with that person. Because then that just means you're carrying some unhealed trauma and stuff from the past that you need to let go of. Okay, so in your love life, trust that this situation is calling for you to have faith. Now, what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you, Scorpios, is I'm healing past life trauma. I'm healing past life trauma. Okay, so whoever this person is, they may be thinking this, feeling this, or may actually say this to you that, yeah, I'm trying to heal from past abuse, past trauma, or things that have, things I experienced that, you know, kind of really threw me off and broke me down. 
they're healing from that but at least they have that self-awareness and they're making the effort so this person's going through some healing and you're just gonna have to maybe trust in them or trust that they're being honest because they may not be perfect and really when you meet anyone no one's perfect everyone is dealing with things it's just how you do it it's not what you're it's not what you're dealing with it's how you're going about it how you're reacting are they making an effort are they trying you know it's it doesn't matter what you went through it's just did you let that break you down? Did you let it make you better? Or are you bitter, angry, and hate everything, hate the world? So recognize that they are healing and that they're going through a process and they may not be at their best right now, but if you can have patience and show support and you know give them the benefit of the doubt, especially if you know they're, you know, they got a good heart, they're trying, um, they're not being negative or manipulative, maybe support them, trust in the situation, okay? Now, as your warrior guidance advice, you guys got release. Stop holding on to the past. It's affecting the pace at which you move forward. It's time to let go of what's not for you or not for your future, then feel the release of the load lighten. Nice. I'm gonna read it again. Stop holding on to the past. It's affecting the pace at which you move forward. It's time to let go of what's not for your future, then feel the release of the load lighten. Nice. All right. So for many of you, maybe this is confirmation or validation and a realization that, okay, yeah, you know what? I am holding on to some things that I need to make peace with. I need to let that go. I need to heal. And so I can be happy because I deserve to be happy and I can be happy. I just got to stop dragging this heavy suitcase and anchor, you know, everywhere I go. Okay. All right. So Scorpios, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Hopefully I'll see you for your next reading and your weeklies, monthlies, and monthlies. And next time I post, you guys will be first. So hoot, hoot. let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and thank you so much. And I wish you all the best. Take care. All right. So now let's move on to Sagittarius. Hi Sagittarius, how are you guys? I hope you're doing amazing. So your first affirmation guys is I'm lucky. Yes, I'm lucky. Okay, my ruling planet is Jupiter, so I'm just naturally lucky. Yes, tell yourself this. All right, everywhere you go, you attract luck because you have luck inside, inside and all around you, even when you think you're not lucky. And really, luck is just about you doing the right things, being in the, you know, doing the work and you know inevitably the good things just happen in your life so you kind of brought that luck upon yourself your uh, second affirmation is i accept myself for who i am i accept myself for who i am yes you want to practice saying that especially if you feel like maybe lately or at times uh the society people or situations almost make you feel like you should change or you shouldn't accept yourself or you should be something that you're not no Tell yourself, I accept myself for who I am. Your message from the universe is coming from card number 48. So 48 or the number 12 or the number three could be significant for you. And it says you are safe. You are safe. Yes. If you felt maybe exposed or um, vulnerable, you're safe. You're in good hands and you're being maybe watched or you're being protected, even when maybe you don't think you are. So you're okay. Your animal spirit message is coming from the mountain goat and the mountain goat wants you to know that there's something out of balance in your life. So do whatever you need to do to correct it. There's something out of balance in your life. So do whatever you need to do to correct it. And for many of you, you probably know what that is. Maybe it's health, maybe it's your sleep, maybe it's something with work or with your personal life relationships, but there's something that may be out of balance and you need to do whatever you need to do to get it back into place and back into equilibrium or back on track. Your sign, symbol, or synchronicity for the second half of October is um, card number 23 and it's mice. And this is the seven of clubs. Here you go, you can take a screenshot if you like or if that helps. So the clubs is symbolic of earth, the pentacle, and the 90 degree angle square. So here I feel like for you guys that there is some kind of a, the mice here representing something that you need to learn from, 
uh, that may be kind of annoying you, bugging you, you know, just because usually I know there's people that maybe like rodents and mice and hamsters, stuff like that, but usually maybe, you know, mice are something that people don't want, they want out. Like, I don't want rodents, I don't want rats in here. So there could be something that's bugging you or annoying you, but you need to learn from this thing. Um, and it may be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's gonna bring some kind of learning experience. So the seven of clubs, card number 23, mice could be symbolic of that for you. Or maybe mice has a particular specific uh, meaning for you and you can apply that. All right, and as your crystal, you guys got labradorite and it's associated with their throat, third eye and crown chakra. It's the stone of transformation, helping you get through big changes in your life, such as uh, moving or career change. And it stimulates your imagination, promotes psychic abilities, and helps treat disorders of the eye and the brain. An affirmation associated with Labradorite is, I welcome transformation in my life. I welcome transformation in my life. So Labradorite may be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in this next little while. All right, my dear Sages, what is going on with you guys? So what's the general message, main theme, energy for you guys in this next little while, next half of October? So some of you here I see could have Leo or Scorpio somewhere in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with one of those signs or the energy overall. And I feel like uh, you, you may be experiencing or you may feel, you may start to feel like you're kind of being tested. Um, or your strength is being tested and not your physical strength exactly, although maybe it could be, for, but I feel more so it's like your internal strength. How much can you handle internally, emotionally? You know, what's something could trigger you or kind of take you by surprise or kind of shake you up internally. And it, you're, you may feel like you're being tested in, on an emotional level, maybe not physically, but uh, this can be a time when you really have to make sure you're you're paying attention to your inner self, your heart, your soul, your essence, and can you weather the storm? Um, and your ego could also be feeling like it's getting tested, um, and you have to strengthen strengthen yourself, stand tall, and not let anything bring you down. So right now, in this next in this next half of October, it's going to be important that you strengthen your emotions, you have confidence in yourself, and um, you work on your internal, your internal self, your internal world. Like, it's like, you know, we see sometimes those big fit bodybuilder people, like they may be physically very strong and, you know, and uh, tall and stuff, but you know, maybe they're very sensitive or emotional, or maybe, maybe they get emotionally uh, triggered very easily or have unhealed wounds emotionally. Like someone could be really physically fit and strong, but maybe has a lot of emotional trauma, maybe has a lot of issues, you know? And once you start talking to them, you're like, whoa, like this person is actually not very confident. You thought they were confident because they look good, they're strong and buff and fit, but actually they're dealing with a lot of insecurities or fears, doubts, or self-esteem issues. So this could be a time when you may be experiencing things that are, helping you, showing you that you have some weak spots or you have some soft spots that you need to strengthen, you need to work on. Like you may physically look really good. You may physically be really strong. And, you know, people may get that impression that like, oh my gosh, she or he is perfect and has it all and everything. But emotionally, there's some wounds here that you have to work on or you have to strengthen and refine your ego, not in an egotistical way. Like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm the ish and no one can be me. But uh, like emotionally be so strong that nothing can like tip you over or, um, make you feel differently or make you feel bad about yourself. So emotions is something that you're gonna have to deal with here and your, in, your, uh, your inner strength is what's gonna be needed most and what's gonna be tested um, and maybe triggered at this time. And there could literally be like maybe a Leo or a Scorpio who's kind of like, you know, testing you right now or you're having issues with possibly, but it's really to help show you the parts of you that you have to strengthen or you have to work on. Um, and it's like, you know, sometimes when you start working out, you want to just do all the things that you like to do, which come easy to you. But really, you got to do the stuff that's not easy for you. And that's harder because that's where you're weaker at. 
play for me and that I've been able to start working out a little more consistently and um, most things I can do but the stuff that I struggle with that's a little harder for me or challenging is like abdominal abs because obviously when I when you have give birth and have a baby like your whole ribs and everything your stomach kind of broken and torn apart so I have to work on strengthening my core and um, it's a little bit work in progress but I know those are my weak spots right now so that's what I have to work on and do that's a little bit harder for me so at this time the the things that you're struggling with, that's what you need to do more of, or that's what you need to pay attention to more, okay? And a lot of it has to do with your internal world, your emotions, and what is shaking you up or what's triggering you, if that makes sense, okay? And just know you can handle it. It's going to be okay. Um, it's just, this is what's going to help you, help, help strengthen you overall, okay? All right, now as your love message, you guys got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Passion. Don't be afraid to show passion. Don't be afraid to express, show your emotion. We do have Venus now in Sagittarius or moving into uh, Sagittarius here very soon on the 17th. So you were, you'll naturally be kind of playing out, you know, all those things that people feel drawn towards and that love. Uh, what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is, I know you are the one. I know you are the one. I know you are the one. So whoever this person is, um, really cares about you, really loves you, has no doubts, is not confused, and they really feel like you're the one for them. So maybe what's triggering you in this next little half is you having to soften up having to tune into your emotions and not feel like you got to be tough and badass and show no feelings show no emotions maybe this is a time that's calling for you to like be softer and express your feelings and emotions show a little heart of compassion and that may be uncomfortable but maybe that's the exact thing that you need to do and doing things that maybe you don't feel like is strong is actually showing strength showing vulnerability all right, now as your warrior guidance advice, it's about conflict. You've been undecided about a situation or relationship for a while. Write a pros and cons list and be true to the facts that you've noted. Okay, so you've been undecided about some kind of situation or relationship for a while. Now is the time to write all your pros and cons as a list and be true to the facts that you've noted. All right, so if you're in conflict with anything, having some doubts, you're like unsure, write it out write a list weigh out your pros and cons and actually be honest and truthful about it and maybe that'll help you decide what you should do or if you've kind of been maybe um not honest with yourself okay all right so sagittarius i hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful thank you so much for being here for watching hope i see you for your next reading and your weeklies monthlies mid monthlies so on and so on let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys i'd love to hear your thoughts and thank you so much wish you all the best take care all right now let's move on to capricorns hi capricorns my dear capricorns how are you i hope you guys are all doing amazing okay so your first affirmation guys is i'm creative I'm creative. Yes. Please practice saying this out loud if you can in the morning as you wake up and at night before you go to bed. I'm creative and I can tap into my imagination and uh, fantasies and I know I can do all these things. I don't experience writer's block. I just need to get outside and let loose a little bit and I get all those creative hits. All right. Now your second affirmation, it's, it, it says, it's okay not to know everything. It's okay not to know everything. <laughs> I'm married to a Capricorn. <laughs> not that I have any personal experience with this, but it's okay not to know everything, Capricorns. Okay, it's okay. I know maybe you think you know everything or you want to know everything, but it's okay if you don't. <laughs> uh, my husband probably feels called out there, but I'm just kidding. Love you. All right, now as your message from the universe, it's coming from card number 10. So 10 or the number one could be significant or mean something to you. And it says, you are not afraid. You are not afraid. You are not afraid. Something else, something could be feeling like it's big and strong and has power over you, but don't show fear. You don't have to be scared of anything. And um, that very same thing you might be afraid of is probably not even that, nothing to be afraid of. So tell yourself, I'm not afraid. Now, as your animal spirit message, you guys got the walrus. 
walrus and the walrus says here wants you to know uh, remain vigilant about the current situation pay attention to the signs and omens and let them dictate your choices so remain vigilant about current situations in your life pay attention to the signs and omens and let them dictate your choices so don't ignore any signs or things that you see that are so loud and clear in your face take them into consideration and use that to make your decisions or take actions on things, okay? Now, as your sign, symbol, or synchronicity at this time, you guys got card number, is this 20? Yes, I think it's uh, card number 20, the garden, and it's the eight of spades. Card number 20, you can take a screenshot if you like, so you can look at it and see what you feel, um, but it's 20, uh, number 20, the car garden and eight of spades, eight of spades and spades is symbolic of air, sword and 180 degree angle, which is opposition. So I feel like here um, you could see maybe all these flowers and plants and things in the garden as like things that maybe you felt were really opposite of you or you felt were took a lot of effort, took a lot of work. But actually these things and this garden is representing of all the things that helped you grow, helped you become who you are. And maybe those very same things that you hated and you're like, oh, I hate doing this, this sucks, but it refined you. It made you into the person that you are, your character, it showed you your capabilities. It molded you into this greater version of yourself. So uh, a garden, maybe there's something with a garden that's going to be important or uh, synchronistic or symbolize something for you guys. Maybe how like a garden takes time, takes effort to grow. It's not just like you just start planting and boom, it blooms the next day. It takes effort. You got to learn. You got to fail. You got to start again and work with different seeds and water and see what works with each other, what plants you like or what fruits, vegetables you want to nurture, grow and you'll be tested along the way. But um, things that you maybe you felt were very opposite of you or were against you, maybe these very same things that this garden is representing helped you grow, is now nurturing you, is now feeding you, okay? So garden, plants, um, is gonna be some kind of sign, symbol, or synchronicity for you that um, don't, you're going to keep growing, you're going to keep planting your seeds and you may not see the results right away, but you got to keep going and not give up. Don't let that deter you. You may have one, you could have had one crop that died or didn't go through, but you could keep going, try again, you'll get better. And eventually this garden that you've been tending to, you've been working on is going to feed you. Okay. All right. And good things take time. This is the eight of spades. So eight is very symbolic of spending a lot of time doing something. So you may feel like this was all for nothing. Oh, this took so much out of me. But all that effort, all that time you put into something, you will eventually see the results of it. Maybe not right away, but you will at some point. It's just like when you work out, like you may not, you're not going to see results maybe in the first month, maybe two months. But if you've been at it for a year, six months, you will probably start to see results, but you got to be consistent. And you guys out of everybody know the importance of hard work and consistency. All right. And then as your crystal, you guys got bloodstone and it's associated with your root, sacral and heart chakra. It's said to bring courage, creativity and vitality can help one to control and release bad tempers, aids in stress and aggression. It's a great stone for balance and the removal of toxins and promotes calmness and emotional centering. An affirmation associated with bloodstone is I welcome all challenges and will overcome them. I welcome all challenges and will overcome them. I love that. It's like such an empowering affirmation. I welcome all challenges and will overcome them. And a lot of you have been and will be and maybe have already felt like you've overcome so much by now. All right, Capricorn. So what's the overall theme, message, energy for you guys in the second half of October? Uh, like we've already been talking about, Pluto now has gone direct. And this is the last, you know, next three, four weeks that it'll be in Capricorn until it shifts into Aquarius. So you are definitely here feeling like there's endings, cycles are completing, coming to a close, and that energy is continue, continuing on for you in October. 
10 is repeated twice for you. So I definitely feel like you're at the end of something. You're complete. It's a completion. Um, and especially at this time, it's going to feel like mentally you're no longer thinking the same way. Uh, you're no longer paying attention to the same things. You're going to, it's like you're having a new mind. You have a new mind. You have a new, um, perspective and even health issues maybe health issues you were dealing with before you're no longer going to be dealing with that anymore uh, you know mental blockages anxiety stress depression feeling down defeated negative ways of thinking that's all behind you you're becoming a new person and you may still be going through and feeling some things right now but you can tell you could feel that something has shifted and you're kind of at the tail end of something and um, as far as your energy levels, uh, feeling maybe tired, exhausted, burnt out, you're also kind of reaching the top of the mountain where you're at the end of feeling burdened, like the load of duties, obligations, responsibilities, like weighing you down. That's also coming to an end. So your mind is breaking free. Your mind's going to feel like it, oh, it's coming out of jail and you can think freely, be happier, have think about things that you want to think about instead of being bogged down by stress all the time. And you're going to have energy to do things that you want to do that bring you happiness, that help you tap into your creativity or make you have fun and live life a little bit more. So you're breaking out of mental blockages. Uh, your mind is becoming new and lighter and freer like a bird. And your energy levels and your passion, your creativity, your motivation, you're going to find more passion for life. You may even feel like you're becoming a life enthusiast as you saw all the girls writing in their bios, you know, growing up or in Instagram or Facebook or whatever. I'm a life enthusiast. You may literally become kind of like that or like feel like that energy is coming over you very soon. So you're at the tail end of cycles, long journeys, and mentally you're breaking free, feeling lighter and energetically you're going to feel like, ah, oh, I have the passion. I can do things I want to do. And you're not going to feel so bogged down or held back or chained by like all these other things that you have to do. You're kind of, that's closing out for you. So very, very exciting. I love it. So keep your head up guys. You're getting close to the finish line. Now your love message is about playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Nice. So in your love life or personal relationships, be playful, be fun, be lighthearted, um, express yourself, have a little more fun. Don't take things too, so serious or uh, don't be so serious about everything. Enjoy, live life a little bit. Then what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I'm figuring out my feelings. I'm figuring out my feelings. So whoever this person is, they're still maybe trying to find uh, themselves or figure out what they're feeling or what they want to express. And although they may be still trying to get comfortable with feelings, it doesn't mean they're not feeling something. They just maybe are trying to find the confidence and comfortability to own it and to express it. So I'm figuring out my feelings. All right. Now, lastly, as your warrior guidance advice, it's about cause and effect cause and effect. You get what your heart desires by being true to the work you put in. Work diligently on your dreams, then watch the universe reward and deliver. So you get what your heart desires by being true to the work that you put into something. Work diligently on your dreams, then watch the universe reward and deliver. You want something, go after it and it will be delivered to you. Nice. I love it. All right. So Capricorns. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Hopefully I'll see you for your next reading and your weeklies, monthlies, mid-monthlies and so on and so on. Um, and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I wish you guys all the best. All right. Take care. All right. Now let's move on to Aquarius. All right. Hi, Aquarius, my moon sign. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. So your first affirmation, Aquarius, is I'm spiritually connected. I'm spiritually connected. Yes, please practice saying this out loud if you can in the mornings you wake up and at night before you go to bed, especially maybe if you feel like you're kind of feeling disconnected from your spirit or spirituality or just, you know, understanding yourself. Practice saying this. I'm spiritually connected. 
because you really always are even when you don't think you are you are you're just distracted with other things and you just got to come back to your essence yourself and remove all the extras in your life that are kind of like taking you away from that all right because everything is spiritual if you really think about it like everything <laughs> the basic things your second affirmation is i'm healthy and full of positivity i'm healthy and full of positivity another one great one to practice your um message from the universe is a uh, card number 19 so the number 19 one nine um 10 could also be significant for you so 19 10 or one and it says listen to music listen to music some of you could be musicians or maybe you just like music for fun or you create it or you sing, write, dance, or uh, you just love music and it's part of you. So listen to music. It's something that could be really healing or maybe something you love to do that helps you get into your creativity or helps you feel connected to yourself or to the world. Um, a song recently that I've been listening to like every day and I love is... Um, uh, what's it called? Guess Will Never Know. I think that's what it's called. Guess Will Never Know by Colby Kayed. Actually, it's not by her. She's a feature. She's featured on that song, but the main uh, person is Mitchell. I think Mitchell Tenpenny, Tenpenny, something like that. But it's called Guess Will Never Know. I love that song. I started listening to it, I think, like during Libra seasons when it came out. It's really sweet. Um, What's the part that goes? She goes, what would I be doing if I wasn't loving you from the bottom to the top of my soul? Would I be holding it together if I never messed it up or let you go? Guess we'll never know, never know, never know, cause I'll never let you go. I don't know guys, don't make fun of me, I'm not a singer, but I love that song. It's just like good vibes and loving and I love it, so. I'll, maybe I'll, if I remember, I'll link it below, but you can look it up. I guess we'll never know. Col Colby Kaye, if that's how you say your name. Your fellow Gemini. Listen to music. All right. Your animal spirit message is the unicorn. It's coming from the unicorn. And the unicorn wants you to know that you need to indulge or indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. Wow, I feel like this is very synchronistic, guys. Universe is speaking to you. Get into your creativity. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. And we really all are, we really all are um, artistic and creative in our own ways. We all have that inner artist inside of us. It just comes out differently. Um, and so you got to tap into that and indulge, get creative. Maybe it's with music, dance, or painting, or art, or your, you know, uh, something that you create, or you write, or um, you make clothes, or you design, you design things. It could be anything, or the way you cook. Dive into your creativity. All right. And as your uh, sign, symbol, or synchronicity in this next half, you guys got card number 13, and it's the child, and it's the J of spades. I mean, I feel like everyone's getting the spades for their sign, symbol, synchronicity. So you can take a screenshot if you like, so you can look at it and see what you feel. But um, here, the spades is symbolic of air, sword, and 180 degree angle, which is the opposition. So there's a child here, or this child represents something that you're having issues with that you feel is really opposite of you. Maybe you have some issues with a child or with a sibling or someone you're taking care of, or it can be like your inner child, your innocence, your youth, your creativity. You almost feel like you've lost that part of you or it's hard for you to get it back. Or maybe you have some childhood trauma that it kind of still eats away at you or you know makes it difficult for you to get creative or be happy, be playful and youthful and you feel like you kind of lost that part of yourself. So um, this child here is representing um, something that you maybe are fighting or you're kind of going against. Maybe the things that you're doing, you're almost like trying to um, forget about your inner child or your inner essence. And that's the very same thing that you need to grab onto and save and keep that part of you. Or literally, there could be a kid in your life, a child, your child, or a sibling, or someone who you're having issues with, but maybe it's because you're, it's, that child is mirroring back to you something that you need to heal from, okay? All right, or maybe you got to let loose, um, be more lighthearted. 
and trust me i know i i have um saturn in aquarius and it's in my fifth house of children play expression so it's like directly opposite of where leo is supposed to be so i've always kind of felt restricted um emotionally there and expressing myself um having fun it's always been hard for me to kind of just let loose and have fun even though i love music and stuff like that but it's always kind of i've always felt like hard difficult difficulty with like letting loose or having fun and um i think now having my baby and scott he's almost like teaching me and helping me to like tap into my own inner child again and have some fun and enjoy and um heal that part of me that i was just born with i guess i don't have childhood trauma like that but you know what i mean just as an example okay and then as you're a crystal you guys got ocean jasper and it's associated with all chakras. It's the stone of happiness and joy, helps you release negative feelings and feel more optimistic, enhances your understanding of yourself and your own personal power, promotes deep relaxation by reconnecting your spirit to the earth and its healing vibrations. And an affirmation associated with Ocean Jasper is I enjoy positive energy in all of my relationships, including myself. I enjoy positive energy in all of my relationships, including myself. So Ocean Jasper might be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in this next little while. All right, so Aquarius, what's going on with you guys? What's the general message, energy, um, main theme for you guys in the second half of October? So uh, fire, fire, uh, very strong fire, expression, um, Aries energy, maybe some of you have Aries somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and I feel like here you're relating and finding more value in becoming more of a leader, authority, having confidence in your leadership skills, confidence in how you express yourself and going after things, being more blunt, bold, direct, not letting fear hold you back, showing who you really are, valuing your identity, your individuality, and going after things and not letting anyone hold you back or anything hold you back. So um, in this next little while, I feel like you're starting to value your, how you relate to others, but you want to come across as someone who is confident and can lead and um, can be an authority figure and lead your life and um, stand tall. So you may be, there could be someone in your life, like an actual person who is helping you with that or helping you get more courage and stand tall on your feet. And maybe you're gain, you're going into a position in your life where you're gaining more leadership roles, authority, um, leading the way in some way shape or form um and you're having to be that example or you're learning how to uh relate to those kind of energies or relate to those people and connect with those type of people that are going to help you express yourself maybe in a more passionate uh way but in in a mature manner and i do feel like here you're doing things in a healthy way um I, it just it feels like you're valuing um be really being true to yourself and maybe doing things for yourself and not in like a selfish way but maybe a lot of you you do so much for others or you care a lot about humanity you care about you know getting along with everybody but now this could be a time when you really have to be more selfish and you have to do things for you and uh, do what you're passionate about or what drives you and kind of take charge instead of letting others take charge this may be a time when you're feeling like you got to take charge, you got to lead the way and you got to go after things and not hesitate or not uh, wait or procrastinate. OK, so you're relating, you're being you're valuing your your passions and uh, your own abilities to lead and uh, be a, maybe not be a role model, but be an example um, and help show others what they need to do by being the example and embodying that for yourself. Okay, so empowerment, you're gaining more confidence um, and you're doing things and expressing yourself in a way that like maybe even people may notice that you're changing, you're getting more confidence and you're owning your individuality and who you are. I like it. All right, and then as your love message, you guys got getting to know each other. As you, re as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. 
getting to know each other. So in your love life, you may be getting to know someone or allowing someone to get to know you. And as you reveal your inner self, your bond, your connection is going to deepen as well. So don't be afraid to express yourself and show passion, show charisma, show personality, show a little color. And, and not be so like logical about things. Sometimes you gotta just be in the moment and show, you know, and express what you're feeling right then, right there, and not have all this like logic with it. Okay, and what someone's thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is, um, I'm feeling stuck, I'm feeling stuck. So whoever this person is, um, they may be kind of feeling stagnant right now or stuck in some kind of feeling or emotion and they trying to figure out how to get out of that. So they may be kind of struggling right now and um, in maybe a sticky spot, a sticky situation, or they need some time to kind of figure things out. So they're feeling stuck in some way. Lastly, as your warrior guidance advice, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys got ask for help ask for help. It's okay to need help from time to time. Even though asking for it can be difficult, put your pride aside to allow support in. The relief will be rewarding. So don't be too prideful, too confident to ask for help because everybody needs help from time to time, even the best of the best. Even the people you think that don't ask for help, they need help. So don't be afraid to ask for help and the support will be rewarding. And actually this help may be is uh, that you're relating to may actually help you get into that leadership role or position um, that you want to be in because it takes it takes effort team to build something up all right so aquarius i hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful thank you so much for being here for watching hopefully i see you for your next reading and i wish you guys all the best i'll see you in your weeklies monthlies mid monthly so on and so on and uh, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys and i'd love to hear your thoughts wishing you all the best and i'll see you next time take care all right now let's move on to my fellow fishies mermaids mermen pisces all right, Pisces, so your first affirmation, guys, is I am caring, I'm caring, yes, and I care about the right things, I care about the things that matter, not about the things that don't matter, so I'm caring, but I know how to care about the right things. Oops. All right, and then as your second affirmation is, ooh, I'm a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, yes, please practice saying this out loud. Wherever I go, I grow, and I'm a money magnet. I attract abundance, prosperity, opportunities, all those things that I need. Now, as your message from the universe, he has got card number one, and uh-oh, universe is calling us out. It says, get over yourself. <laughs> get over yourself. All right, Pisces, we got to get over ourselves. Um, you may be focusing too much on something that you think is a big deal or you think is important or you think other people are going to notice and criticize you, but really no one cares. You think people are staring at you, care about you, but really everyone's self-absorbed. Everyone's thinking about their own selves, their own life. And you may be focusing too much on yourself or something that you think is a big deal, but maybe it's not. So maybe it's time to get over ourselves and uh, look in the mirror and say, you know, it's not always about you. It's not everything's about me. Not everyone is I'm I'm not that special not everyone's not paying attention to me so I need to stop thinking that you know this thing that I'm focusing on matters or maybe something that you're being nitpicky about or criticizing yourself about it's not that deep no one really cares that much except you <laughs> so time to get over ourselves <laughs> now as your animal spirit message you guys got the humpback whale or we got the humpback whale and the humpback whale wants us to know that music is essential to our healing and well-being whether singing playing an instrument or listening nice and i think aquarius also got something about well their message to the universe actually was a, a listening to music so music may be something that we need to dive into and embrace and allow to um come into our lives a little bit more and enjoy and I was actually telling Aquarius as well that there's a song that I started listening to in Libra season that I love and I've been listening to it like almost every day I even like put it on for Skylar and he likes it it's by Colby Kayette and she's a Gemini so maybe that's why he likes it too uh, but she's just the feature it's a uh, Mitchell P Ten Pennies song and she's just featured in it but it's really sweet I love it it's called Guess We'll Never Know 
and she says what would i be doing if i wasn't loving you from the bottom to the top of my soul would i be holding it together if i never messed it up and let you go guess we'll never know never know never know because i'll never let you go i don't know it's just really cute obviously i'm butchering it i'm not a singer but the song is beautiful i love it i'll try to remember to link it down below for you guys because I love it but i always add it to my playlist and i have a public music playlist so you can always see what i'm listening to or what i'm enjoying and at some point i'm going to film a little short video maybe with skylar and use that as like the background because i love that song so music is essential to our healing so enjoy it embrace it listen to it make it sing it whatever floats your boat all right pisces so what is your sign symbol or synchronicity for the next half of october we got here um, card number 29 and it's a lady card number 29 and it's a lady and it's the eight of spades man everybody for their sign symbol synchronicity is getting uh spades so uh you can take a screenshot here if you like to look at it and see what you feel but spades is symbolic of air sword and 180 degree angle which is opposition so uh, there could be uh maybe a lady or a feminine energy here who is representing of something that you're um, very opposite of or is bringing you making you feel really bringing opposition 29 also maybe could be an age for some of you maybe some of you are going through your saturn return which is usually the time when you're kind of going through a lot and facing opposition so maybe there's a lady here or someone who is mirroring back to you some opposition um, or something that you feel like you need your is bringing you some tension some conflict some uh hard times possibly and uh you got to talk it out or you got to learn from each other or um communicate a little bit better um also maybe just connecting maybe with yourself your inner feminine your inner emotions you may be kind of like your own feelings your own emotions may be kind of like uh your own worst enemy like your you, what you're feeling or what you're making yourself feel and go through may be almost like hurting yourself so um if it's not you there could be an actual lady or someone who is saying things or communicating and you gotta like talk it out in some way shape or form okay all right now as your crystal you guys got carnelian carnelian and it's associated with the sacral chakra it boosts libido with the vibration of love sparks creativity restores vitality and motivation and improves circulation and purifies the blood and an affirmation associated with carnelian is as i embrace my joys and passion this world becomes a reflection of my very best nice i like that so carnelian might be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in this next little while all right my dear pisces so what's going on with you guys generally speaking your main energy message all that stuff for this next uh, half okay so definitely here some of you could have um maybe more pisces in your chart like maybe be a double pisces pisces sun moon rising venus um or gemini as well or maybe you're dealing with another gemini or another pisces or gemini sun moon rising inner venus or just the energy overall so pisces here i feel like there's a decision that's in delay um or something that you're trying to decide on or uh, confirm or you know uh Feel like you're you're almost there but you're not there yet so a, a decision may be in delay or finding something that you really want you're almost there but it's in delay because there's still some emotion um emotional healing that you need to go through something needs to be brought to light there's something that you need to express or you need to heal from um you need to release and let go so that you can enjoy and have this thing or make that decision with a little more certainty or let's say you're looking for love you really want to find your soulmate you you really want to heal a relationship or you want to find your other half but your soulmate is there or very close to you but in or until you can heal from your heal your emotions and let go of the past heal from the trauma heal from you know your past your you have to do that first and then your soulmate will come and then you'll be at the right place at the right time and be able to talk and communicate and come together but they're almost there you're very close to getting what you want or that decision or your soulmate but you got to do some emotional healing you got to purge you got to let go it's like you know trying to use a broken plate and you're trying to like use the plate put food on it yet 
it's broken. So you gotta fix the plate first and then you can use it to eat out of and put food on, but you can't use a broken plate if it's all over the place, right? So you gotta heal, heal your heart, let go of some heavy emotions or be honest and bring things that you've been hiding in the dark, bring it to light. Know your issues, know your weaknesses, know your fears, your doubts, and be honest about it, be open about it so you can really know, you know, what you're holding on to that maybe is blocking your blessings, is blocking you from finding love, is blocking you from having happiness. So there's a decision here that's in delay or your your love life or your soulmate may be coming in, but you got to heal, you got to purge, you got to let go of some emotions or bring something to light and be honest and truthful about how you truly feel, okay? Because if you're not being honest, you could be lying to yourself. Maybe you're like, mm, I don't want love, mm, everyone sucks, or I'm never going to find love, or I'd rather just be by myself, or uh, I'll just do this, that. You're lying to yourself because that's not how you really feel. That's not what you want. You're just coping. So you gotta be honest and be like, you know what? No, yeah, I do have issues. I do have some trauma from my past. I need to heal from that. I need to let go of that hurt, pain, grudge, resentment, so I can love with an open heart. And until I'm healed, I know I'm not gonna find that person. So know yourself, be honest with yourself. Like we got earlier, get over yourself and know that that soulmate or that beautiful decision, that beautiful union is gonna come into your life when you have already done the work to heal, okay? All right, now as your love message, oh, that's so that's so synchronistic. So actually, I remember when I was shuffling and doing all the cards, you had two cards come out, so I just grabbed them. The first one is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Wow, okay, so could it be more loud and clear, Pisces, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, okay? And then the second one that came out was worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So the one that you're waiting for, whatever it is that you're waiting for, is gonna be worth the wait, but right now you gotta forgive and learn and release the past, okay? The longer you prolong that, the longer you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> As your love message, what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is, I'm speaking my truth. I'm speaking my truth. So whoever this person is, is gonna be someone who's gonna be straightforward, honest, and direct with you, but they're gonna ask for that in return, and you're gonna have to be ready to be truthful and honest as well. So you wanna make sure that you've already been practicing that, and you can be honest if you've already been honest and truth with yourself, it's not gonna be hard to do the same with others or with your significant other. So I'm speaking my truth. And if you want truth from others, you want someone to be honest and truthful with you, you gotta, you gotta be able to offer that as well, okay? Now, as lastly, your warrior guidance advice, guys, got time of need, time of need. Someone needs you just now. Think, who's recently contacted you? It's time to stick the kettle on and be the shoulder for that someone in need. Skylar, Skylar probably needs me right now. <laughs> just kidding, I think he's napping. So someone needs you just now. Think, who's recently contacted you? It's time to stick the kettle on and be the shoulder for that someone in need. And maybe for a lot of you, it's yourself. Maybe you really need yourself. You need to be there for yourself. You need to have compassion for yourself. You need to be kind to yourself so that you can start healing and um, living your best life and having happiness and love and all those things that you deserve. So time of need or someone might need you. All right, so Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Hopefully I'll see you for your next reading and your weeklies, monthlies, mid-monthlies, so on and so on. And I wish you guys all the best and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. All right, now let's move on to Aries. Hi, Aries. How are you guys? I hope you're doing amazing. All right, my dear Aries. So your first affirmation is I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. Yes, I'm positive. I'm optimistic. Even if I'm going through stuff right now, I know it's not always going to be this way. Things are going to look up. They're going to change and I'm going to keep my head held high. I'm optimistic. Yes. Don't let the negativity of the world weigh you down. You got to always be optimistic because your reality becomes what you think about the most. So don't let all the, don't absorb all the negative dark things of the world because that's going to become your world. 
All right, then as your second affirmation, you guys got all of my dreams and desires are materializing. All of my dreams and desires are materializing. Yes, speak that into existence. All of my dreams and desires are materializing and it's possible because I, if I couldn't, if, if, I, if, I, if I could think about it, it can happen, it can come into reality. All my dreams and desires are materializing. Your message from the universe is coming from card number 25. So 25 or the number seven could be significant or mean something to you. And it says, fill the well fill the well take care of your emotions take care of your inner world and how you feel inside and don't let anything or anyone make you go through a drought internally and make you cold-hearted or uh, dry-hearted and not love or be happy you know about life and about yourself don't let anyone take that away from you your essence so fill the well fill your water nurture your internal world your emotions your heart your animal spirit message is coming from the mouse mouse and the mouse wants you to know you're overlooking some important details so pay closer attention to what's going on you're overlooking some important details so pay closer attention to what's going on all right so there could be some little details something that maybe you're missing or overlooking time to look back and pay extra close attention read the fine print i guess <laughs> You know, like in all those ads or commercials when they're trying to like get you to use something and then at the end they're like, this may kill you, you may get a heart attack, but you're like, what? And they go, they go so fast on all the important stuff that you need to know. It's like, geez, thanks. This may kill me, but you want me to buy this anyways. Or don't take this if you're da da da. Anyways, now as your uh, sign, symbol, or synchronicity, uh, you guys got card number 10 and it's the Sith the sip and it's the j of diamonds finally i feel like everyone else in the first half i've been doing has been, has been getting spades but you guys got the j of diamonds nice so you can take a look take a screenshot maybe if you want to look at it and see what you feel but diamonds is symbolic of fire wands and the 120 degree angle which is a trine a gift so as your sign symbol synchronicity for the second half of october we are transitioning into scorpio season woo woo your fellow martian signs so out of your opposite sign libra you may be relieved you got the sith here so the sith is going to be your sign symbol synchronicity that you actually have a gift uh to let go or to remove something or cut through something that maybe is not good for you or cut through the bs cut through the nonsense like you have that clarity and you may be that clarity that hard truth that someone needs and the Sith is going to be a sign, symbol, or synchronicity for you that it's your time. This is your gift. Uh, you got to use it. And sometimes that Sith may be kind of scary for other people because they don't have the guts. They don't have the confidence to like, this is what I mean, or we need to get rid of this. And you got to be that example. You are the one that has the guts. You got, you know, the cojones to get it done. So uh, know that that's your gift. Sometimes you may feel like no one else has the guts, you know, to say certain things or to stand up, but it's because you have that natural gift. So you got to utilize it. You have to lead. You have to be that voice and show people this is BS. This is nonsense. Are you guys blind? Do you not see it? Like they may literally not see it. You have to kind of point it out and um, make people see it sometimes in an aggressive way, but hey, it gotta be done. Someone's gotta do the hard work or someone's gotta say it and it's you. <laughs> All right, now um, as your crystal, you guys got Amazonite and it's associated with the uh, throat and heart chakra. It's said to be a feel better stone, benefits one's aura, great stone for creativity, promotes calmness and soothing and aids in stress, nervousness and a troubled mind. And an affirmation associated with my Amazonite is I am at peace with who I am. I'm at peace with who I am. I like that. So um, Amazonite might be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in this next little while. I'm at peace with who I am and I'm proud to be who I am. Okay. So Aries, what's the general message or uh, theme overview for you guys in this next little while for October mid-month? So I feel like here, guys, that some of you could have water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe some of you are, uh, um, wow, why am I blanking out? Cusp, you know, on the tail end of Pisces season and um, Aries. Um, or you could have Earth as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe both. Or maybe you're dealing with one of those signs, water, Earth sign, or just the energy 
overall. So this is actually a very good time for you. I am seeing that you're standing tall, you're feeling confident. This may be a time when you feel accomplished or you're accomplishing some of your goals, you're accomplishing something that took a lot of effort and you had to work hard for it, but you became smarter and become educated, you're succeeding and you're actually feeling full of love. You're feeling uh, really empowered. And um, I feel like you're really utilizing your gifts, you're utilizing your talents, you're utilizing your actions, the things that you do and you're putting it into work and i feel like you're doing it out of love a lot of you are like mastering your emotions you're mastering your heart you're mastering how you uh like you're becoming really emotionally mature emotionally evolved emotionally intelligent and you know how to carry yourself in such a way where you can make an impact yet you're still loving yet you're still um understanding you still have uh, deep compassion you're not too soft too sensitive and you're not too like explosive but just the right amount and i just feel like you you're master you're like reaching this master level you're mastering things you're achieving you're succeeding um and you're able to be really self-sufficient independent and be kind of that example for others which i know like i told you in your weeklies could be kind of exhausting because you're like man who's like when's someone gonna like do this for me why do i always have to be the example why do i always have to do everything but that's your gift you guys just have that kind of energy that not everyone carries with them and a lot of times you reflect the very same things that people are not doing or that they need to do like you're that kind of reflection for them to like call them out um some of you if you're dealing with someone or you're in a relationship or you're just talking to someone i do feel like uh you have a lot of love for them and they have a lot of love for you and you both value and respect each other's um independence you respect each other's drive and your work ethic and things that you have going for you and even some of you or many of you who are single you're single and you're happy you love yourself you know who you are you're like man i'm not missing anything i feel good about myself i know i'm a catch i know i have a lot to offer i know my heart i have a great heart great soul and i'm gonna meet the right person if i don't it's okay it's gonna happen because i know i have so much love to give i have so much to offer and whoever can't see it they're missing out they're just missing see now because I'm the ish. So you really have mastered this level of self-love, compassion, you're doing the work, you're achieving, you're succeeding, and you're feeling really proud of yourself. And I think you should be proud of yourself. So give yourself a pat in the back. I like it. All right. And if you are with someone or attracting someone, maybe this person could be a water sign or earth sign and could be someone who knows how to love very deeply, is mature, but also, you know, is can stand their own ground, um, takes care of themselves, is independent, and you love that. You're like, oh, finally, thank goodness, someone I don't always have to, like, baby and take care of all the time. They can take care of me for once in a while. <laughs> all right, now as your love message, you guys got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Codependency. All right, so in your love life, uh, there could be some codependency and some kind of addiction could be affecting your love life. And it could be like someone is addicted to being dependent on you or you're addicted. Well, probably not you being addicted to being dependent on someone, but someone may be so dependent on you. They rely on you for everything. That's like an addiction. Or there could literally be someone who's just addicted to attention, addicted to drugs alcohol or addicted to love or addicted to being seen a certain way um, but i feel like a lot of it has to do with codependency or so someone maybe leans on you too much or makes you do everything or some kind of addiction bad habit, uh obsession maybe could be affecting your romantic life in a um, maybe negative way but doesn't mean it can't be fixed can't be solved it can maybe you just gotta attract different people or look for different qualities different characteristics in people all right now what someone is thinking feeling or maybe wants to tell you is i want to communicate with you but it's not time yet i want to communicate with you but it's not time yet so whoever this person is they probably have been thinking about you you may even have had a dream about them and you're like why am i dreaming about this person i'm not even thinking about them but it's because you're on their mind they're thinking about you and they are wanting to communicate but they know it's not the right time or they're waiting for something and i don't know and you're like who's got time to wait like if you have something to say say it now say it to my face like why are you waiting but for whatever reason they're waiting or it's not the right time so they're waiting for their moment to communicate with you but really there is no right time you know the right time is now because there's never going to be a right time but 
not everyone resonates with that. <laughs> okay, lastly, as your warrior guidance advice, you guys got move, move. Get outdoors, be at one with nature, cherish the home for your soul, your body. Move your body, move your body. Is that a song? I swear that's like a song, but I'm trying to freak. I don't remember like what song it is. Move your body or something. Anyways, um, get outdoors. Go outside if the weather permits. If it's uh, or you're able to, or get a jacket or whatever. Go outside, move around, jump in the lake, pond, pool, go for a walk, a bike ride to the beach, uh, go fishing, hiking. Get outside. Get in nature. Get in tune with nature, um, and that'll really help you get back to yourself or give you more clarity, insight. I know I love going on walks. We go on family walks outside and take our time sometimes, let Skylar walk around and play. And it just really like resets us and helps us kind of like get back to what matters. And we always, you know, try to leave our phones at home and not bring anything. Although sometimes I do bring because I like to film little videos of him or something, but, or we'll see certain animals, but get out in nature if you can. It's really healing. It's so helpful and it's free, most importantly. All right. So, Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you for our next reading in your weeklies, monthlies, mid monthlies, so on and so on. And I wish you guys all the best. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. All right. Let's move on to Taurus. All right. Hi, Taurus. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Let's see. What is your first affirmation? I'm worthy. I'm worthy. Yes. Please practice saying this out loud if you can the mornings you wake up and at night before I go to bed. I'm worthy of all the things that I want. I'm worth it. I deserve it. And I'm going to start acting like such. Your second affirmation is I'm successful in all that I do. I'm successful in all that I do. Yes. Start having that winner success mentality, knowing that you can achieve it and you're confident. I'm successful in all that I do and there's nothing I can't do. Your uh, message from the universe is coming from card number 40. So 40 or the number four could be significant or mean something to you. And it says, say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. Don't forget to say please and thank you. And if someone does something nice for you or is just being, you know, nice, good energy, give them thanks or, you know, appreciation even little things someone opens the door for you thank you or someone i don't know helps you in some way shape or form thank you don't forget those small little things that we do do make a big difference so thank the ones you love and those who have been there for you and have shown you love and support or helped you during times of need your animal spirit message is coming from the gross and the grouse wants you to remind you to express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. Ooh, express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. Nice. Maybe some of you like drums or you like beats or, you know, creating rhythms and stuff like that. Uh, but move your body and express yourself through this. Maybe some of you are dancers, you know, like Chris Brown and stuff. You gotta like, you're able to move your body like that. Do that. Do more of that. I like the drums. I was actually thinking of like later on getting like Skylar some little mini drum set or something because I feel like he would really enjoy that because he likes, you know, chaos and loud things. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, so as your sign, symbol, or synchronicity, and he's a Taurus rising. Your sign, symbol, or synchronicity is coming from card number five, and it's the tree. And it's the seven of hearts. Yay. Okay. First hearts we got for any sign. So there you go, you can take a screenshot if you like, see how it resonates with you. So it's a seven of hearts and the hearts is symbolic of water, cups, 60 degree angle, which is a sextile. So here I feel like you, this tree is a sign symbol or synchronicity for you that you have the opportunity to grow, to stand tall, to achieve greater heights. And whenever you see a tree or you see a certain tree or something, it's trying to let you know that, you know, you can stand tall, you can keep growing and you're going through transitions right now and you can't give up. You got to keep going, reaching higher, reaching for the top. Okay. Greater limits. Nice. Um, your crystal is orange calcite 
and it's associated with the sacral chakra. It helps one overcome old negative patterns and habits, helps you embark on your new journey or endeavor, boost your creativity, increases libido, and encourages playfulness, lightheartedness, and confidence. And an affirmation associated with orange calcite is I'm fully capable of reaching my full potential. I'm fully capable of reaching my full potential. So orange calcite may be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into. I can reach my full potential. I really like that. All right. So Taurus, what is your general message, main energy theme going on for you guys in the second half of October? So some of you could have water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe you're dealing with one of those signs or just the energy overall. But I am seeing here that you're protecting your emotions um, by not expressing certain things, or you may be kind of extra defensive or on edge or paranoid or like not trusting. And you're kind of protecting certain emotions that maybe have you feeling kind of unsatisfied or insecure, your fears, doubt, or you feel like something's missing. You may be feeling you're keeping some kind of private emotion, emotions that you're dealing with private, but you feel like something's missing and that's why you're kind of defensive or keeping to yourself or you may not be as like open or wanting to express certain things. And it's because you feel like something's missing or emotionally you feel like something's off. So you may just be kind of feeling moody maybe extra moody or dealing with something in private or at home in your personal relationships that you kind of don't want to talk about or you'd rather just keep to yourself or kind of deal with on your own or just because you don't know exactly why you feel that way and you don't want to talk about it because you you feel like you might sound crazy or there's no logical explanation but you feel off or you feel like something's missing and but your way of going about it is almost like shutting yourself out from the world or like keeping everyone out keeping everything out and maybe that exact same thing that you're doing building that wall that guard up is the exact thing that's making your problem worse and i'm not saying you gotta like be all open and vulnerable with everybody and everything but you may be blocking yourself from experiences that can actually help you see and realize what you're missing and actually bring that thing that very same thing that's missing in your life to make you feel good or uh, to make you feel alive again so emotionally you may be feeling off or like something's lacking something's missing that's making you feel <clears throat> inadequate or like maybe you just feel like you're you don't you feel alone, you feel lonely or miss, you don't have love or you don't have friends or you don't have a good relationship you can rely on. And you almost like have gotten so comfortable being alone or being in like exile and like uh, separated from everybody that you're <clears throat> not knowing how to interact with others or you put this big, huge wall and guard up as if like you don't wanna to talk to anyone or you don't want anyone to bother you, but really that's what you really crave. You crave connection, you crave relationships, but you've put up such a high wall and guard up that no one will come in or like no one can come in. And so you're kind of blocking yourself, you're blocking your blessings, your opportunities to grow and expand. So keep your emotions in check, but don't hide, don't hide yourself from the world. Don't hide um, and, block yourself out from everybody. You gotta experience, you gotta make connections and make an effort. Even if you feel off, sometimes just talking to someone, going outside can help kind of get you back to yourself or make you feel a little bit better, okay? But don't block yourself too much or put too much of a high wall or guard up because hiding away is not gonna make your problems go away. It maybe makes it worse, okay? Now, as your love message, you guys got, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. All right. So, like I said, if you want love or relationship, maybe you really do have that or you have access to it. It's right there. It's like in front of your eyes or very close. But like this person is on the other side, but you put this big, huge wall and rail and fence up that they can't get in and they want to get in and you think you're protecting yourself but really you're making that very same thing that you want difficult to reach you to come into your life so you've already met the romantic partner you seek or it's coming very soon but you gotta get rid of that wall get rid of that guard and get out of your feelings get out of your head and stop hiding from your hiding from your opportunities hiding from happiness hiding from love okay 
or don't be scared to op don't be scared to open up don't be scared to love again and make connections and experience what someone's thinking feeling or maybe wants to tell you is i'm working on balancing my energy i'm working on balancing my energy so whoever this person is yeah no one's perfect they're still working on themselves they're trying to balance themselves out and figure out their energy levels and you know maybe not be so bipolar or moody or angry or aggressive or whatever the case is but they're working on it so they have some self-awareness here that they're trying to put into action and uh you know work on at this time so they're working on things they may not be perfect but at least they're trying lastly as your warrior guidance advice you guys got read your brain needs exercise just like your body does pick up a book that will help you grow never stop learning never stop absorbing new information nice so be a student of the universe read a book or listen to an audiobook whatever floats your book for me i usually prefer to read an actual physical book although nowadays it's kind of hard with a baby you know but absorb some kind of new information if you can get educated about something random that you like it doesn't even have to be anything that's like deep and hard and philosophical or like a big huge book it could just be like anything simple that you just don't know about and you're like oh i learned something new like for myself, it's been like cooking and baking and stuff like that. Like I never really did too much of that. So it's like a whole new thing that I'm learning. But now I feel a little bit smarter because I'm learning things I didn't know before and realizing that it's not that hard. It was just like intimidating at first because I didn't know or it was like new to me or learning everything about babies and toddlers, stuff like that. Okay. All right. So Taurus, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Hopefully I'll see you for your next reading. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and I wish you guys all the best. Take care. All right. Now let's move on to Gemini's, the gems in my eyes. How are you? I hope you're doing lovely. Okay. So Gemini's, your first affirmation is I'm powerful. I'm powerful. Yes. Please practice saying this out loud if you can. In the mornings you wake up and at night before you go to bed, I am powerful and there's nothing I can't do. And once I know my power, once I can really hone into and hold and embrace my power, I will be unstoppable and you are unstoppable. I always tell Skylar that like every day or even when we're walking or something, I'm like, you're strong. Skylar's tough. Skylar's smart. Skylar's the best. <laughs> Not that he understands, but I'm sure you can feel the energy. Your second affirmation is I release myself of negative thoughts. I release myself of negative thoughts. Please practice saying this because I know you guys think a lot. You're always in your head. I release myself of negative thoughts so that you can think about good things, positive things that are going to help you and benefit you. Your message from the universe is coming from card number 46. So 46 or the number 10 or one could be significant or mean something to you. And it says, take bite-sized steps, like the penguin, wobble, wobble, take bite-sized steps. You don't need to leap, run, jump. You could just one step at a time. As long as you're moving forward, that's all that matters. It's not about the pace or the velocity or how fast you're going. It's just as long as you're making forward movement, you're good. Your animal spirit message is coming from the zebra and the zebra wants you to know, let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times. Let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times. Nice. And maybe don't look at everything so black and white like a zebra. Let go of your fears. You're protected at all times. Your uh, sign, symbol, or synchronicity is coming from card number seven, and it's the snake. And it's also the Q of clubs. Q of clubs. And you can take a look at it, take a screenshot if you like, so you can see and look into it, what, how it speaks to you. But the card number seven, the snake, and the Q of clubs. So clubs is representing uh, earth, pentacle, and the 90 degree angle, which is a square. So I feel like here the snake is your sign, symbol, more synchronicity that there's something that you're needing to transform and learn from and shed old skin so you can let new skin come in. So there could be some kind of desire or something that you need to transform or end or uh, learn from in some way, shape, or form. And you see the full moon here. Something needs to be brought to light and uh, 
be released or be healed. So you're going through maybe some transformation or releasing some dead skin so new skin can grow in. I know this sounds kind of gross, but that's kind of what happens with snakes. And you gotta learn from this. So you gotta learn how to let go or transform. And that snake maybe can be your sign, your symbol in some way, shape or form. Okay, now your crystal is fluorite. And it's associated with the heart, throat, and third eye chakra. It increases intuition, understanding that gut feeling. It's great for students and it helps in concentration and mental clarity. It cleanses and renews the chakras, increases mental, physical, and spiritual strength as well. And an affirmation associated with fluoride is my mind is always clear and focused. My mind is always clear and focused. So fluoride could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in this next little while to get your mind strong and clear. All right, my dear Geminis, what is going on with you guys in this next little while? Next half, your main message theme. So some of you here could have Libra, Taurus, Pisces, or Aquarius somewhere in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with one of those signs or just the energy overall. Um, I will say here that it looks like you're creating something beautiful and you don't want to, but don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate results or if you don't get that fame and recognition right away because it's going to take time but keep creating keep growing keep dreaming keep loving and sharing and spreading love some of you here um, could be very fertile um, maybe some, someone here is pregnant congrats if that's the case or maybe some of you have kids or you have children um, or you're connecting with a mother in your life or someone who's like a mother figure um, and your relationship could be growing, you're growing, maybe growing a baby or you're growing a business, you're growing an idea. There's something beautiful that you're creating, okay? And you're doing it out of love and there's so much love coming out of this. <laughs> you hear uh, baby Gemini in the background. I think he was sleeping, he might've woke up already, but he's coming out and it's for your reading. <laughs> So there's something beautiful that, that's growing inside of you that you're creating. Maybe some of you work in fashion, music, art, modeling, design, architecture, and that's like your little profession. Or there's just something in your life you're creating, you're growing, planting the seeds. And uh, but and it's like a there's a wish that you want, but that wish hasn't come true, or there, that wish is in delay associated with this is what this thing that you love that's growing. So don't be discouraged. Don't let that stop you. Keep doing it. Keep grinding. Maybe some of you are aspiring artists or you want to be a famous model, actress, dancer, celebrity, or whatever the case is, just as a broad example. Um, or you want to be the best, you know, at this, you know, you want your company to do this well or whatever. And you're not there yet, but don't be discouraged or you're a content creator and you're trying to get to a certain amount of subs or views or something. Don't get discouraged if you're not there yet, okay? That dream, that wish, it's still gonna, it's still there, it's possible. Even if you're not gaining maybe the attention, the fame, the views, uh, the notoriety, the interviews, or uh, any anything like that, don't get discouraged. Keep trying, keep doing it out of love because that's what really matters and you're, you're gonna gain momentum, you're gonna, you know you're gonna gain more experience and see you're gonna it's gonna help you stay true to yourself okay without all the distractions because once all like the fame and business and money is involved it kind of affects your creativity sometimes um and maybe some here you really want to make a big impact you really want to affect humanity or you really want to think outside the box and uh sometimes what inhibits your creativity is trying to blend in is trying to do what others want you to do or trying to please everybody or like oh well, will they will they like this well i don't want to like offend anyone or i don't know if this will be received well nonsense stop trying to blend in don't try to think about what everyone's gonna like or if it's gonna be well received or what they're gonna think about you or their opinion you need to value your creativity be unique be your original that's what's gonna make you shine bright that's what's gonna make you go viral gain a lot of fame popularity or notoriety or make that dream come true whatever this dream is for you your fame your business your love life your child what's gonna make your dream come true is by you growing and seed, planting your seeds and being creative and creating in your unique original way. Be unique. Don't try to blend in with everybody or sound like everybody else or look like everybody else. Be unique original, whether it's the way you look, the way you talk, the way you think, the way you 
create. Do it in your own way and you're going to shine bright and then your wish is going to come true, okay? But right now you may be trying too much to blend in or you're too concerned about what others think or how they're going to see it. Don't think that way because it's going to block your creativity. But you already have so much beauty, so much love around you and you're doing it out of love and it's growing. But you got to stay true to you and be unique and original no matter what. Even if you feel like, oh, I don't know, this might be weird. Nonsense, okay? All right. So your wish is in delay, it hasn't come true yet, but it's gonna happen, just keep grinding, don't be discouraged. Now, your love message is about children. Your love life is being affected by children. So like I said earlier, maybe some of you have kids or you are someone who is pregnant, or you have siblings, or the idea of children is something that's affecting your love life. Like maybe you uh, want to be with someone, but you don't want children, or they want children, or maybe this person someone has children, uh, or something with children is affecting the your ability to relate to each other, or maybe your inner child. Maybe there's something going on with your inner child or your childhood trauma that affects your love life, and that's something maybe you need to look at and heal from. Um, I think Aquarius got something about children, if I'm not mistaken. So if you have Aquarius in your chart, maybe take a look at, listen to that reading because it may um, put some put some things together for you or if you're dealing with an Aquarius. All right, now what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is my karmic situation is ending. My karmic situation is ending. So whoever this person is, they may be at the end of some kind of karmic cycle, karmic relationship, karmic situation, and that's gonna be good news. I feel like this is positive or something positive is coming out of this ending. That, Cause that karma, maybe that karmic situation maybe was making it difficult for you guys to be together, come together. Lastly, as your warrior guidance advice, it's about crystals. Have you chosen one today? Which crystal are you being drawn to? Keep it close. If you don't have any, it's time to look for some. And I will go as far as to say, I know not everyone's into crystals and stuff like that. And that's totally okay. But is there something tangible that you love? Like your favorite rock, your favorite hat, your favorite something that you love and is important to you. And if you don't have that, grab something. Find something that you really love, that you resonate with. And um, put some good energy into it and when you see that thing let that always remind you of that like let's say you have this favorite ring and this ring means like love or happiness for you so you've in, you've like infused it with that energy and now whenever you look at it whenever you wear it it helps remind you like oh love be happy and you know it's just the energy that you put into an inanimate object is that's what really matters so Find an object, something that you love or something you can grab and uh, put some energy work into it and so that whenever you see that or use that item, it's going to remind you and have that energy inside of it. Okay? All right. So, Geminis, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Speaking of crystals, I am looking for and I do want to find eventually like an emerald for Skylar just because he is like... Gemini and I love emerald. I don't have any emerald and moonstone. I am looking for something with moonstone or emerald, but maybe like a ring bracelet. I don't know yet. I'm still deciding, but I'm just putting it out there in the universe. So when it's meant to be, I'll find it. All right. So Gemini's, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Hopefully I see you for your next reading and your weeklies, monthlies, and monthlies, so on and so on. And I wish you guys all the best. Take care. All right. Now let's move on to cancers hi cancers how are you i hope you guys are all doing well so cancers your first affirmation is i'm kind i'm kind yes i'm a kind heart i'm a kind soul and even when i'm around people who are not kind who are mean i'm still gonna be a kind person and not become mean like them or not stoop to their level i'm kind your second affirmation is i attract abundance and prosperity effortlessly I attract abundance and prosperity effortlessly. Yes. Please practice saying that and really feel like it's happening for you and it's real. Your um, message from the universe is coming from card number 13. So 13 or the number four could be significant or mean something to you. And it says clear the fog. Clear the fog. So if there's something that you're confused about or unsure, there's some doubts and maybe you need to remove some distractions or look 
clearly for something you may be paying attention to the wrong things or there's some things that could be distracting you clear the fog or wait till the fog clears so that you can see clearly and pay attention to what matters your animal spirit message is coming from the cat and the cat wants you to know that it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others time to strike out on your own and relinquish your codependency over dependency on others so if you've been depending too much maybe on a person or someone it's time to maybe back off a little bit and do it yourself or do something do something on your own because maybe you probably can do it better than they are doing or you can probably figure it out a lot faster or get it done better than they were doing for you and maybe that person can't really help you as much anymore or uh, it's time for you to figure it out on your own. Your sign symbol or synchronicity is coming from card number 22 and it's the crossroads and it's the Q of, uh, of, Q of diamonds. There you go, you can screenshot it, screenshot it if you like to see how it resonates with you. So diamonds is symbolic of fire, wands, and 120 degree angle, which is a trine. So you have here the crossroads is a sign symbol of synchronicity for you that um, there's a gift here. If you're feeling at a crossroads, undecided, you're kind of stuck between two worlds or you don't know which way to go, that this is gonna be a gift for you because you know how they say to sometimes you gotta uh, lose yourself to find yourself. Sometimes you gotta be get lost to be found and not all those, what's that um, from that song that uh, brings the power, not all those who, not all those who wander are lost. So from this crossroads, you're actually gonna find a gift. You're gonna find yourself. You're gonna find where you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to, uh, where you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to be. So crossroads is gonna be a gift for you. I like it. Your crystal is mukite, mukite, and it's associated with the root chakra. Um, it can be a protection and communication stone. It's great for decision-making and creativity, it promotes new perceptions, ideas, and work helps in coping with loneliness, fear, and depression. It promotes grounding, moving forward, self-esteem, and meditation. And an affirmation associated with Mukite is I'm always surrounded with love and light. I'm always surrounded with love and light. So Mukite could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in this next little while. All right, Cancer, so what's going on with you guys, generally speaking, um, your main message energy. So uh, three is repeated twice for you guys. So it's gonna be very important in this next little while, next half of October, that you pay attention to your surroundings, your environment, and your friends, your, the people, places, things that you're connecting with or who you're talking to, your circle, okay? Your friends, your personal relationships, uh, your acquaintances, people that you're sharing your ideas, communicating with. So be mindful of what you're communicating, who you're communicating with, and your surroundings, your environment. That's gonna be really important and highlighted for you. Because I see here, okay, some of you can have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or maybe you're dealing with one of those signs or just the energy overall. But some of you could be part of a group club or organization or you're involved in some collaboration, some teamwork, efforts, and you're working together with others or there's some people you're working with or uh, sharing ideas with or growing with that could be hurting you. And so you could be part of something that's not good for you. Maybe you're part of a group or you're working together with someone or some people that actually are not really, um, don't have good intentions for you or they're, uh, they're not actually helping you. They're hurting you in some ways. And it could be that maybe your work environment, maybe you, where you work, uh, you're working with people who are kind of rude, nasty, or say mean things, or you can't trust them. They talk behind your back, or they kind of hurt your feelings a lot. Um, so you got to be really mindful that maybe there's some people in your environment or your work setting school that they're not really your friends and you maybe have no choice, you just have to deal with it, but you just have to know that you can't share too much of your personal life, your personal self, maybe with some of these people because they may not have your best intentions or have your back. And that's not for everybody though, okay? Like you, maybe some of you love your work environment, you love people you're surrounding yourself with, but that's usually not the case for most people, okay? Usually in most environments. So you wanna be mindful of that even where you go to school, where you work, whatever, like 
be you know cordial polite but you gotta know it's just money it's just business they probably are not your friends so don't share certain things and don't take don't take what they say too personal but be mindful of what you're communicating who you're doing business with who you're collaborating with and what information you're sharing or who you're sharing um uh, financial uh, information with um, so be very vigilant and mindful of your surroundings be careful of a group club organization that you're involved in as well because that may not be very good for you like maybe you're part of some let's say for example sorority or fraternity I was actually part of a sorority in college at UCLA but I ended up dropping out um, my last year was it the last year yeah I think my senior year when I was already living out of the apartment and I had a boyfriend and stuff. So I just wasn't into it anymore. And that's just my personal experience, but I realized that, and there's nothing, no hate against any of the girls there, but I just didn't really have a strong personal relationship with any of them. And I realized none of them were really that like close with me or um, it just didn't feel as genuine or uh, worth it for me anymore. So I'm not gonna say I regret it, and it was a cool experience, but not for me. So there could be a group cup organization that you're a part of or you're collaborating with that uh, you just may not be vibing with anymore or you may see that these people don't have your good intentions or they talk behind your back or they're hurting you or being a part of that is hurting you. Maybe the perception others have of you is uh, being jaded because of who you're associated with. So that's something you also wanna be keep in mind because you may be a good person and you may be honest and stuff, but maybe your friends, maybe the people who you hang out with are bad news. Maybe they are liars, cheaters and stuff. So other people see that and they're like, oh, well, cancer is associated with them. So they must be like that too. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa that's not me. They're just my friends, but I'm, I don't do those things. But you wanna be mindful because if you're associated with those people, other people may see you in that same way, even if that's not who you are. So that's something to keep in mind because someone may make you look bad just because you're attached to them or you're attached to that name, you're attached to that title, and then you get ended up you end up getting missing out or um, uh, getting hurt uh, for something that you didn't even do just by being associated or attached, okay? Something to keep in mind, okay? As your... Um, love message you guys got reconciliation reconciliation and it says someone from your past is returning to your life someone from your past is returning to your life so you may have a reconnection or reconciliation here in some way shape or form maybe it could just be that you and someone had an argument and now you're making amends and you're talking again or maybe your ex someone from your past you finally start talking again or you're reconciling something maybe you're single but you're just making amends you're healing from the past and you're no longer letting that uh block you from your future blessings or from loving again and opening your heart okay however it applies then um, what someone's thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I don't know how to express myself. I don't know how to express myself. So whoever this person is, they may have trouble with communicating. They may have trouble with expressing feelings and emotions. And it's just something that is, feels uncomfortable for them or they're just not confident in. So they're having trouble. Uh, they don't know how to express themselves, but hopefully they can get out of that and just give it to you real and be straightforward. Okay. Um, Lastly, as your warrior guidance advice, it's about commitment and committing. What does your heart want you to commit to daily? Make a promise to yourself to take action today and reap the rewards of committing to contentment. What does your heart want you to commit to daily? Make a promise to yourself to take action today and reap the rewards of committing to contentment. So commit to something and be really mindful of what you're committing to. Why are you committing to it? and commit when it matters to you and it's important to you, but don't commit until you know why and if it actually makes sense, okay? All right, and only you have the key to that lock that you're committing to. So Cancers, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Hopefully I see you for your next reading and your weeklies, monthlies, mid-monthlies, so on and so on. And I wish you guys all the best. Take care. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and hope you have a happy Halloween if I don't see you. All right. Actually, I will. Who am I kidding? Your weekly readings. <laughs> all right, now let's move on to Leos. Hi, Leos. How are you? Hope you guys are all doing well. 
Uh, your first affirmation is I'm light energy. I'm light energy. Yes, wherever I go, I shine. Wherever I go, I am bright and I can light up a room. And if maybe I'm dealing with some heavy feelings and emotions and I'm feeling down, I know I can lighten my load and just smile, giggle, have some fun and, you know, be a little more lighthearted. So I'm light energy. Now your second affirmation is I grow when I step outside of my comfort zone. I grow when I step outside of my comfort zone. So please practice saying that. I know sometimes we're creatures of habits. We wanna stay comfortable. We don't want change, but we really do grow and our character and our who we are gets refined and molded by doing things that are different, doing things that are uncomfortable sometimes and uh, stepping outside of that comfort zone. So practice saying that if you feel like you're having trouble with changes and new things may be happening. Your message from the universe is coming from card number 49. So 49 or the number 13 or the number four could be significant for you. And it says detox, detox. Skylar kind of bent my card here, but it's all right. I always tell them, no, 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 please, please don't do that to mommy's cards. But you know, kids and children, sometimes I let them play with it, but I probably shouldn't because he bends it. So detox. Leo's, maybe some of you are physically, like literally going through a detox, a cleanse, juice cleanse, um, you know, eating more greens or fasting um, uh, or releasing, um, doing some kind of mental, spiritual cleanse. Maybe you're, you know, detoxing and taking a break from social media um, or you're, de you know, detoxing from unhealthy, toxic friends, relationships, stuff like that. But this is a good time to do some kind of cleanse or detox, whether it's like literal, physical, mental, emotional, whatever you feel like you need, you know yourself. Um, I've been doing like a weekly uh, fasting. So once a week, uh, I do like a 24 hour fast where I just drink water and maybe a little bit of juices like green juices, um, lemon water, stuff like that just to let my body kind of reset and cleanse. And then on other days, I'll usually try to fast or like not, you know, not eat until maybe, uh, or not eat past five or 6 p.m. and then not eat until like 8 a.m. or something, 9 a.m. till the next day. So detox in whichever way you can. Your animal spirit message is coming from the shark. Dun, 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 like jaws. And the shark wants you to know to trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. Trust your instincts to, dis to discern the truth of the situation. So trust your gut, trust your instincts. Listen to yourself. Um, is that my toilet? My toilet does weird sounds sometimes. Um, your sign, symbol, or synchronicity is card number 19, the tower, and it's the six of spades. So take a look at it, maybe take a screenshot if you like to get the vibe and see what you feel from this. Um, but spades is symbolic of air, sword, and 180 degree angle. So this is like opposition. So this tower may be your sign, synch sign symbol or synchronicity that you, you have some, uh, something that's guiding you or something that you need to reach that need you need to uh, a light that you need to be guided by but you may be feeling really opposite of it or you may be being guided by an opposite energy here that you either need to like push through or uh reevaluate what is guiding you um how can you get to that light or how can you maybe um weather the storm like maybe you're in the like storm right now and you're trying to find that lighthouse that tower and um you feel like you're going through a lot of opposition but you just need to focus on that light focus on that point of reference to let um and let that guide you if you're going through you know a tower moment or shake up or emotion high volatility emotions right now um, just know that that is that opposition is strengthening you and focus on that one point of reference that can guide you and uh, lighten your load. So once you get there, uh, those emotions, you don't need to carry that anymore. Okay. Your crystal is Shiva Linga and it's associated with the root and sacral, uh, sacral, sacral chakra. It balances yin and yang energies removes unwelcome sexual tension, increases fertility, and increases libido in both sexes. An affirmation associated with Shiva Lingam is I'm connected with every realm of the universe. I'm connected with every realm of the universe. So Shiva Lingam might be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in this next little while. 
All right, so Leos, what's going on with you guys in the second half? Your main theme, energy, general message. So lots of uh, emotions, water and fire. Maybe some of you have water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or even more fire like Aries, Sagittarius. But I do feel like here that there is a, a completion here. Maybe uh, like you're feeling more complete emotionally or you will be like you have a lot of great things uh, a lot of love around you, a lot of love around you, and a lot of love inside of you. And a lot of you are very attractive people, like physically attractive, your personality is attractive, your creativity, your expression, you can, you draw in and you attract a lot of attention very easily. Sometimes it's good attention, sometimes maybe not so good, at not so good of attention, you know, it's kind of subjective in your point of view. Um, but you're receiving attention, you're receiving love. I think you just need to know what, how to decipher what is good for you, what's not, what's genuine, what's not, because not all attention is good attention, right? Um, but I do see here that you're receiving a lot of love, a lot of support. Maybe you're surrounded by family, friends, or you're going to be spending more time with family or friends, or you want to create a family uh, kind of environment for you. Um, and you're expressing yourself and the way you are and who you are you shine so bright and so you naturally attract people to come close to you or want to be around you and uh, they know what you like and so they may sometimes tell you what you want to hear or uh, you know give you things or show you love in the ways that they know you will like but not all of it, even when it's in good intention, just because someone's giving you a lot of something doesn't mean you need it, you know, or like someone could be a totally obsessed with you and love you, but you love the attention. And so you don't, you, you receive it, but you realize you don't feel the same maybe about this person or, you know, okay, like that's enough. I already have a lot of that. Like I get it. Thanks. And you don't need to like abuse it or, um, receive more than you actually need but i feel like here you're very beautiful you're very confident or you have a lot to be grateful to be confident for and there's a lot of love surrounding you and you're easily able to get attention there could be maybe a person here a younger uh, or not a younger but a f female feminine energy who um is giving you a lot of attention or this person receives a lot of attention maybe you're interested in them or maybe this is someone you know friend family uh you know someone and uh you want something like them and you could be comparing yourself to them as well and you don't want to compare yourself to anybody because you just don't know everyone's situation is different and you may from an outsider of you be thinking that everything's good and they're happy and everything's fine but it may not be that way but um i will say here that there's a lot of love surrounding you and uh you're able to attract and receive a lot of uh energy from people you just want to make sure what energy you want to keep or is good for you and what energy is like okay i don't need that thank you but you know it's not exactly what i'm looking for or useful because you just don't want to accept everything because then you'll be overwhelmed and not know how to decipher and, and you know see through what actually is good for you what you actually want okay all right now's your love message you guys got pay attention to the red flags Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so yeah, pay attention to the red flags when you're dealing with people. Like if someone is like maybe too much or like, you can kind of tell, you gotta follow your heart, your intuition. Like, yes, there's people that obviously, most people I think are nice and loving, but if someone's being a little too nice or like almost like kissing your butt and like doing too much, there's sometimes, maybe there's a reason for that. Like, what are you making up for? Like, what are you, you know, uh, why are you doing too much? It could be like they want something from you or uh, they're trying to manipulate you or they're just telling you what you want to hear. You can tell. I feel like most times you can tell the difference between someone being genuine or they like they're trying to get something out of you um, or they're trying to um, overcompensate for some kind of lack or insecurity. So just pay attention to any red flags you may notice and um, don't ignore those signs, okay? What someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I feel heartache. I feel heartache. So whoever this person is, they're in pain. They're um, feeling hurt. And um, it could be why this person is giving you, maybe it's overwhelming you, maybe giving you too much attention or like almost being too much with you possibly or like overwhelming you or being too clingy, smothering you. It's because they still have hurt and pain. And so they're almost like overcompensating and want to like, uh 
rush into something or maybe uh, they are hoping that you will heal that and fill that void for them so just something you want to keep in mind okay not saying that you know that's a bad thing or like sometimes people do that without knowing sometimes they do that and they still have good intentions but they don't realize that's what they're doing they're trying to fill a void and they may still have heartbreak heartache that they need to heal from or there's going to be someone that's heartbroken over you or like they still are not getting over you or something like that okay apply it how you how it resonates lastly as your warrior guidance advice you guys got luck it's on your side stop stalling on those plans you've been worrying about and the universe will grant your wish luck nice okay so don't um, wait for anything to happen or don't wait for uh you know for the right moment to do something it's always the right time or there's never going to be a right time the time is now really when you're thinking about it and um, you do have luck that's going to be on your side so don't hold off or put off any plans if you want to do it go do it now if possible or plan it um, for the near future or don't wait for you know tomorrow to do what you could do today all right so leos i hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful thank you so much for being here for watching hopefully i'll see you for your next reading and i'm wishing you guys all the best take care let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys all right last but not least this kind of long video um virgos hi virgos how are you hope you guys are all doing well so virgos your first affirmation is i'm determined I'm determined. Sorry, I thought I like dropped a card. I'm determined. Yes, please practice saying this out loud. If you can, in the mornings you wake up and the night before you go to bed, I'm determined. I have the will. I have the mind to do it. And I'm going to get it done. I'm going to complete and accomplish all the things that I want to do. Your second affirmation is I won't worry about things that are out of my control. I won't worry about things that are out of my control because worrying doesn't do anything. It does not help. So if it's out of my control, not gonna worry about it your message from the universe is coming from card number 29 so 29 or the number 11 could be significant or mean something to you and it says say i'm sorry say i'm sorry so virgos um if there is someone that you feel like you need to apologize to or maybe say hey you know what i was kind of acting out of character i shouldn't have said that i shouldn't have acted in that way don't be too prideful to apologize or just say you're sorry and sometimes you know even if you feel like you were right and you, just for the sake of peace and not having any hard feelings sometimes and knowing you are maybe the higher evolved more mature person and you know better you could just say you're sorry anyways even if you know you were right just because it's not it's not worth it for you to be in like negative energies with someone all right your animal spirit message is coming from the polar bear and so the polar bear wants you to know stand up for what you stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectively and compassionately with no attachment to outcome so stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and comp compassionately with no attachment to outcome. Nice. Thank you, Polar Bear. Now is your sign, symbol, or synchronicity? You guys got card number 25, and it's the ring. And this is the A of clubs. A of clubs. And clubs is representative of Earth, pentacle, and the 90-degree angle, which is a square. So... I feel like here that this ring is your sign, symbol, or synchronicity that you have to learn what you're committing to or learn what to commit to, what not to commit to that you're putting on and, and, and embodying and carrying with you. So there could be maybe a relationship you're committing to or something you're committing to um, and you got to learn from this. So whether it's good or bad or facing challenges, you got to learn how to commit, how to be consistent or how to wear things loud and proud and own it. And this is my belief. This is what I think. And yep, I'm committed to this or I believe this and I got to learn how to like own it and not let anyone make me take off my ring or make me question my commitments. Okay, or if you're afraid of maybe maybe you're someone who's afraid of commitment or you run away from commitment, you gotta learn how to commit. Okay, now as your crystal, you guys got kyanite, 
and it's associated with your throat chakra. It encourages mental stamina and communication, can help support the throat, muscles, and your brain, is known for bringing calmness and tranquility, great for balancing yin and yang energies, excellent for helping one through recovery of addictions and negative thought patterns, and an affirmation associated with kainai is I easily receive communication that is best for my highest self. I easily receive communication that is best for my highest self. Nice, so kainite could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in the second half of October. Now, Virgos, what's going on with all you guys in this next little while? What's your main theme, energy, uh, message for you? Okay, so some of you could have water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or maybe more Earth, like Taurus, Capricorn. Or you're dealing with one of those signs or maybe just the energy overall. But what is the vibe here? What's going on with you guys? So. I see like you're learning and getting closer and feeling more emotionally attached or opening up and getting more uh, loving um, the things that you're working hard for. You're loving the process. You're loving the journey instead of just looking at the outcome. <laughs> My husband's jamming out. Maybe he thinks I'm done, but I'm not done. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, you're loving the process or you're loving all the efforts and energy that you're putting into something. You're spending time um growing and you're investing your time energy money resources into something that you're gonna see results from so your hard work is gonna pay off and you're loving the process you're loving the things that you're working towards you're loving maybe this relationship you're working hard on or you're loving you're working hard to uh, you're working on how to love how to have compassion and give yourself grace and be kind to yourself if you're in a relationship or you're talking to someone, I feel like this person really likes you and they're trying to work hard to collaborate or to get together with you or spend more time with you. And maybe it's just someone who's not only like loving, sweet, compassionate, but they're also hardworking, responsible, diligent um, about their business and you like that quality about them. But I think this is ma mainly you. Um, you're, uh, I feel like you're, learning how to love yourself better, you're taking better care of yourself, and you're working hard to connect your passions and your love with your work ethic and what you're spending a lot of time doing, and you're, uh, you're gonna see results from this, okay? If your hard work is gonna pay off, if you haven't seen it already, or if it hasn't physically manifested, it's gonna manifest very soon for you. So, um, it's like work hard, play hard, and I feel like this is a time when you can kind of relax a little bit more, or you may be able to relax a little bit more, enjoy, open your heart, you know, uh, you know, you worked hard, now you can buy some things that you like, or spend some time with the person that you love, or um, see that your, there's phases, and we go through phases in life. Some phases are about like grinding, and working hard, and then others are about having some fun relaxing and enjoying the fruits of your labor um so i feel good energy here for you guys and you could be meeting someone or getting close to someone or you maybe you're, you're even talking to or uh connecting with someone who you work with or you're uh go to school with or you're you guys are in the same field or job or something like that but it does look like your heart is opening up now as your love message you guys got honeymoon and it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together nice honeymoon so maybe some of you guys are literally going on like a honeymoon a vacation a getaway um or you're you going on some kind of holiday trip or planning some kind of trip with someone that you love or family or girlfriends or whatever but it looks like in your love life you're going to be able to relax a little bit go on a vacation a honeymoon open up be playful I think I got that kind of energy for Capricorns as well. So maybe it's like an earth sign thing. I forget what Taurus got. I don't remember now. But anyways, you guys can watch it. What someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is you are my queen. You are my queen. Yes. Nice. So whoever this person is, or king if you're a guy, however it applies, this person looks up to you. They admire you. You're like, ah. Your royalty to them, okay? You're everything to them. So the way they see you, they value you, they cherish you, and they probably make you feel that way. So if you had any doubts, don't need to doubt. They, you're their queen, you're their king in their eyes. So there you go. Lastly, as your warrior guidance advice, you guys got play. Nice, okay, it's like that same energy. So we're synchronizing here. Stop being so serious. Find your inner child. Go find fun today. Nice. 
All right, so Virgos, let loose, have some play time, have some fun, and um, don't stress, don't overthink, don't complicate things, let loose a little bit, have some fun, okay? Let your inner child come out and play. Beautiful, that's a great way to end the reading. So Virgos, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Hopefully I see you for your next reading and your weeklies, monthlies, monthly, so on and so on. And I wish you guys all the best. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and what's going on with you. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you in your next reading and video. Take care guys, bye.